another wonderful example of the sort of uh, destruction wrought by the Jesuit Joe Biden and his Biden administration. Uh, in this case, you have uh, yet another example of the U.S. government pandering to the LGBT sodomite lobby. Uh, and even after all this, the LGBT homosexual lobby is still going to act like there's some kind of threat and an oppressed minority. But hey, they're the, they're essentially the eternal victims. But this time you have the Air Force pushing uh, gay pride propaganda. It says here on uh, Breitbart News, Air Force celebrates Pride Month with a graphic of service members saluting rainbow colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as if the American founders had that in mind back in 1776 when they were, you know, forming the nation of America. Sure, but it says in the article, the Air Force celebrated Pride Month by posting on all of its social media platforms a graphic of an airman saluting rainbow colors. The caption of the graphic read, June is Pride Month. The Department of Air of the Air Force proudly recognizes and celebrates generations of LGBTQI plus service members and their contributions to our Air Force. <laughs> well, yeah, contributions while well, you're paying them. You're giving them a paycheck, so yeah, they better be contributing because uh, it's what they're, you're paying them to do. Yeah. It's a bunch of garbage, you know, it's just like, oh, you know, see, basically this guy, he's gay, and he can actually do his job as an airman. Well, I mean, again, you're giving him a paycheck, so he better be doing his job. <laughs> what a bunch of garbage. But it says in the article, the post came after the, the uh, Department of Defense hosted a Pride Month event earlier, at the day, earlier in the day at the Pentagon. At the Pentagon event, defense and military leaders, including one of the, sp one of the Space Force, bashed anti-LGBTQ legislation such as Florida's law prohibiting teachers from discussing, discussing, sorry, discussing sexual orientation and gender identity with students in kindergarten uh, through third grade or laws prohibiting kids from attending drag shows. Um, since when is that the military is concerned, first of all, second of all, um, why is that a bad thing to say kids should be taught about sex? You know, these people are just exposing their perverted agenda by this backlash against telling people who are kindergarten age kids about sexual gender whatevers. You know, these people are a bunch of perverts. But hey, this is this is the kind of destruction that was wrought by the Jesuit Joe Biden administration. But what a bunch of garbage. And you wonder why military recruitment is at the all time low in America. Because, you know, the kind of people who would be attracted to the military, you'd think, you would think are kind of young guys, you know, rough, rugged, not not uh, unwilling to get their hands dirty. You know, not a bunch of fairies and Fruit Loops who don't know what gender they are. But anyway, uh, that's, that's probably going to get me banned and get me a hate speech strike on YouTube, but who cares? It's just the blunt reality of it all. This is a bunch of insanity, but this is what happens when you elect a dementia-ridden Jesuit into the White House. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.